Another big item for city council today, leaders approving price hikes for energy bills. Austin energy leaders say this increase is linked to the utilities rising overhead costs. And joining us for the first time on KV News at 10 is our new reporter Ford Sanders. He's joining the team here on our 10 o'clock show and Ford, when could customers see these changes? Absolutely. Well, the original plan would have raised Austinite's energy bills around $20 a month. However, through council's approval today, starting November 1st, Austin Energy customers can expect to see a new set of increases on their bills. More people, higher demand, and rising costs. These are statutory fees that are put in place for all power providers and all, uh, all those in the deregulated market throughout Texas. So some of those are, are not anything that we have any control over. Thursday, Austin City Council approved Austin Energy's rate hike proposal. The average customer will pay another $15 a month over three years. Something Austin Energy spokesperson Matt Mitchell says is necessary right now thanks to things like higher fuel and transmission costs. You're looking at regulatory changes. You're looking at energy market changes. You're looking at demand changes. You're looking at um, geopolitical um, forces at work. I mean, it's a, it's a really, really big um, arena. However, some Austin natives like Toga Pendrake, an apprentice electrician, says these hikes will have disproportionate effects. Any price hike is going to affect the people who have the least, the most. Saying hikes like these add to the problem he's already experiencing in his hometown. I was born and raised in Austin, Texas, and I'm having a harder and harder time finding a place to stay. Every, every year it gets harder. Pendrake protested the increase at Austin Energy's headquarters. We were sending out information on our flyers that says they were talking about a price decrease or a rate decrease for companies, especially big companies. Mitchell and city leaders saying as a public power utility, it's important customers feel like they're in the loop. Transparency is important. I mean, I think anyone wants to know what they're being charged and why. Um, and there are a lot of different um, ways to approach um, not only energy consumption, but charging for energy. And as mentioned, those changes will soon be reflected starting November 1st. Mitchell says that that $15 is just an average. It could be more or less on your bill, depending on a household's usage. Quita, Brian. All right, our Ford Sanders live downtown for us tonight. Ford, thank you.